What's up guys, this is Danobadi and today we are going to do a quick fix because I realize that some people actually do not know how to, to extrude the character so uh, let's let's just jump into it, like why not? So you got the rig, right? And now you're wondering like how how, how, how to extrude, man, like how do I go to extrude? Alright, so layers, uh, body, there's these lock buttons over here as you can see, just Take away the hidden, take away the two locks, and you are free to move around the body. Uh, but just let me tell you, you can break the rig with this. Just this itself. It's possible to break the rig. Alright. So let's say you want to extrude. Let's find a character to extrude. Let's find a really old character. Ah, let's, let's get one of my friend's old skin. Like, holy shit. <laughs> Alright. So you got basically your character. And now you want to extrude, let's say, the hair. Alright. So... Just make sure that it's all frozen, just in case you just find this freeze transformation tool or uh, if you want to find a freeze transformation tool, you just go here to Windows, Customization, uh, Shift F12 for the shortcuts and then you just find freeze. And then you just like, you know, just yeet it over there, just why not? And then just press freeze. Yeah. And uh, I'm just going to leave that there for a while. So, you're going to... Take it out, don't worry, you can actually just change it back to zero or you can just change this one to zero. And then you know you just select your extrusion that you want to extrude. And then just uh press UI to invert everything, delete them. And that's how you get it. And then just you know, just refresh. Also just in case to avoid any problems, it's always a good idea to duplicate this one and then put it here. You can also do uh, you can hold sh control and you just drag it down or you can just uh, copy and paste which will go on the top. The reason why I do hold the control is so that it's easier to drag it down and so that you won't like lose the position of it. Yeah, so then just you know. Uh, press UI again so you can select everything and then uh, press D so that you can extrude it and put negative 5 that's my settings for doing that and Facebook is my hell alright once you're done with that uh, the reason why I copy it just in case and then I have not done anything is so that let's say if I want to change to this skin well I, I don't know the reason why you want to change the skin but for certain reasons, you can change the skin. Let's say you have like a bit of edit going on there, then yeah, why not? Alright, so now let's say you want to extrude the head. So extruding the head is a different process. Uh, you need to get this one, which it actually says extrude. Remember, this is an old FMR5, uh, uh, this is an FMR5 edit. As an FMR5 edit, there are still some stuff that are from FMR5. And one of that is the extrude. So let's enable the extrude and then just uh, just put it like this to uh, default so that everything goes well. Remember always press your freeze transform so that when you can so you can press zero all the way and then there will be any misplacements that's gonna happen. Take it out, take out the skin and then just yeah quickly just take out the skin. Okay, and delete them, and then press your UI again, and then uh, find out which part that you want to extrude. Like let's say he has a headband, like uh, let that he has a hair and a headband, right? So let's extrude a bit of the headband, and then extrude the hair so that they have he has like depth in it, alright? So let's put like maybe uh, one. Oh no, let's put 0.5 Alright, we got a bit of extrusion going on. Uh, you can just go and do this. Find the parts where the headband is not there and then make sure that you select those back and then you uh, extrude them for maybe I guess I'll put another one CM. Alright so that's the problem, uh, we have already one problem which is this thing that's going on here. So to avoid this, press Ctrl Z so they can undo the problem. Uh, Deselect it by holding Ctrl and click on it and then extrude the part for one CM or however you much you want. Click on the part that you haven't extruded, extrude that. Let's say if you want this one to go out here or you don't want it, you can leave it alone just like this. If you want a bit of more of the extrusion, you can just press 1 
and you can press D, select the polygon, enter, and uh, you get that, which is pretty cool. And then you put it back to the head, and uh, you got a bit of a uh, got a bit of that. Yeah, it's pretty dope, pretty neat. And then in the render, it should look quite okay. It looks pretty good. It looks like a headband. Yeah, it looks like a headband. Yeah. All right. So now arms. Now this video might be a bit long because it's a bit in depth. Uh, because in Cinema 4D R18, there is this little bug where, or a glitch to say, uh, or a different Cinema 4D um, X thing going on, where you actually have to, uh, or you actually have to edit something, and uh, some people might get confused with it, but in this very in-depth tutorial of extrusion, you will understand probably everything, so that's pretty cool. All right, so. First of all, let's extrude like normal, alright? So let's press UL so they can select everything all around. It's e much easier, much faster to uh, select everything. Alright, so after that, you choose, press D again to extrude, uh, put it 1, I guess. And uh, so happened that this does not fall into that category of that glitch because you did not extrude the part where the bends happened. All right, so how? All right, so I can I can show it through the legs. All right, so now let's do the legs. So the hands are done. Let's do the legs now. All right, so the legs are a bit tricky. So make sure you have it selected through your mesh. Now, if you want to know how I do that, uh, basically you select the legs. Let's say you want you want to select like the this one, right? You want to select this one, and you want to find the uh, the the object for the outliner. Go to your outliner. You press S, your key button S, and then you you got it. It's just there, just waiting for you. All right. So you want to select both of your legs. And then you press S. If you can't, just scroll down and find the highlighted objects. Okay. And I think I accidentally keyframed this by accident, but I'm not sure. I think I did. Oh, well. <laughs> it's fine. Alright, so I'm going to extrude the legs, right? So let's say, example, I want to extrude this part of the legs. Since this is an example, so why not? I'll just extrude this part of the legs. And let's extrude the belt too. Why not? Alright, so... I want this by 1cm and you can already see there are these problems where you have some weird wibbly wobbly stuff and the right leg for some reason the left leg does not have that problem but needless the hands will have this problem if you extrude right on that place and uh, yeah if let's say you have items that need to be extruded right on the line it will get very tricky and uh, for me it's a very rare case to happen but this is a bit common so i'm just going to fix the common problems so how do you fix this common problem well it's pretty simple first of all press your middle mouse button so that you can get to your four views and you can get to your front view or side view yeah front view and side view is necessary for no nope, not necessary front view is very necessary for this <laughs> so uh, make sure that you have uh, snapping on for this to work. Uh, make sure it's vertex snapping, or if not, uh, find edge snapping that works too. Uh, go on point mode. Find the leg that's causing the issue. For this case, is your right leg. Go to the uh, this post morph expression. Click edit, and then uh, add a new post. Post zero. You can name it whatever you want. It's totally up to you. Alright, so select those points that are not into place, go to the outside one. Same goes to here, go to the outside one. And then it should, it should be done. Alright, let's say you have this problem now. It's not done. It's not fixed. There's still something going on. Normally it should work. How do I fix this? Well, just enable post deformers. Try to drag it there again. And then, uh, spares out like nobody's business. And it just fix itself and then just disable post deformers and, uh, somehow it works. I, t <laughs> I don't know how, but it just works. It just works like that. 
I don't know how. And voila, you got perfect legs. Uh, oh, sorry, disable that. And somehow you will get your legs uh, working fine. You don't have that weird glitch that's happening. Whereas this one, it's, it just works. Just, I don't know, it just works, man. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you extrude stuff. Alright, so that's my, tutorial, my extruding tutorial. A very impromptu extruding tutorial. Very, very impromptu. Very messy. Things can happen. And uh, yeah, that's how I do my extrudings in on my characters and everything so i hope you guys enjoy this video and uh hope to see you guys in more videos i hope i don't know man it's like ugh. so yeah hope you enjoyed this video and uh see you next time guys